Hi and welcome to our worship this morning. My name is Reverend Toby. If you've forgotten, I'm the Year 7 chaplain, Alan Vicar in Clayton Limores and Oldham. A little bit from a worship song as we begin. Everyone needs compassion. Those are the opening words of that worship song. And compassion is the theme for our worship this morning. First, let's have a moment of quiet as we gather our thoughts and open ourselves to God. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. So what is this word compassion all about? Well, the actual word, it's made up, it's a Latin derived word, uh, com and passion from cum and passio, suffering with. It's all about entering into somebody else's situation Starting to feel what it, like, it feels like to be in somebody else's shoes, uh, feeling for them, and then being inspired and moved to do something about it. The Greeks and the Romans very often prized uh, reason and putting uh, feelings out of things. They thought that led to the most just outcomes. Uh, and so they uh, thought that God, the true God, must be very uh, rational and not at all moved by uh, feelings or anything like that, which can be a bit weak and changeable. The God of the Bible, though, is a compassionate God. He is presented as a God who feels the pain of his people. Think back to the story of Moses and how God feels uh, for the suffering of his people as slaves in Egypt, and then says, I'm going to do something about it. Think about the whole backdrop to the story of Jesus and how God is feeling the suffering of the world and so enters into the story uh, himself. Listen to what St Paul had to say as he wrote to uh, some young Christians in Corinth. Praise be, he says, to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of all compassion and the God of all comfort who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God for just as the sufferings of Christ flow over into our lives so also through Christ our comfort overflows this last weekend and through this week, we're in the time of remembrance. We're remembering uh, primarily the soldiers of the First and Second World War and conflict since. We also uh, remember, though, civilians from those times. And one particular civilian uh, stands out for me as a great example of compassion. She was a nurse uh, called Edith Cavell. She was British. Uh, she was a, a committed Christian uh, belonging to the Church of England. And uh, she uh, became a nurse when she was 30. She was looking after her sick father and this uh, gave her her sense of calling to be a nurse. And she became a very good one and got involved with teaching nurses. And she became matron of a teaching hospital in Belgium. And she was in Belgium in the First World War. And during the First World War, her compassion showed in her concern for soldiers 
regardless of what side of the war they were on, regardless whether they were on the British side, her own nation, or the German side, or, of course, the native Belgian, she uh, wanted to care for all because she could, uh, she felt the suffering of all. They were all fellow human beings. And if she could help them in their suffering and ease their suffering as a nurse, that's what she wanted to do. She also take a, took another step to help British and Allied soldiers to escape uh, from Brussels uh, to neutral Holland, the Netherlands, uh, the next door country. And she got involved with hiding and the escape of British servicemen. After a time, she uh, was found out. And in fact, she was arrested, convicted, and she was executed for what was considered by the Germans uh, to be treason. And um, before she was executed, she said these very powerful words. Patriotism is not enough. I must have no hatred or bitterness to anyone. She, as a Christian, knew that God had shown her such compassion that her compassion must stretch out beyond her own family and friends, people of her own uh, country and shared background, to all in need, to all who were suffering. And she sought to show that compassion to all. Compassion is one of the most beautiful uh, things that we can do. We see it uh, in all sorts of stories. Think about uh, the Good Samaritan and how he showed compassion when the religious people uh, walk by. You don't have to be a, quote, religious person to show compassion. In fact, that parable reminds us that the religious leaders uh, were sometimes blind to the call of compassion. To have compassion, we need to look on others as humans, to love them as we would love ourselves, and to have the courage uh, then to act on that, not simply to be full of uh, warm thoughts, but actually to want and to act to make a difference. That nurse, Edith Cavell, is remembered today because she acted uh, to bring care and compassion regardless of who she was dealing with. I wonder how we can show compassion to others. Perhaps we might recognise those who are going through a, a hard time, perhaps those who are struggling a little bit with their mental health, perhaps those who are feeling uh, left out, those who are feeling anxious or a little bit de depressed. Perhaps it's those who are having to isolate uh, because of this uh, virus. Perhaps it's uh, those that we uh, can't see, perhaps aged uh, relatives, and we can show our compassion to them by remembering them and being in touch with them on the phone uh, or through video links. Perhaps it's showing compassion to those abroad. Uh, there is actually a charity called Compassion, which is about having compassion for children growing up uh, in, on the streets with absolutely nothing. Our compassion should begin with those we see around about us every day, at home or in school, in our neighbourhood. But it should stretch beyond that too, as we reach out to share something of God's love with others. But let's remember the good news. The good news that whilst everyone does need compassion and we're called to share that compassion, the greatest compassion of all has been shown us already by God in Christ. It's God's forgiveness, his overflowing love and his work to redeem and restore us. His presence with us every day through all we're going through that shows true compassion. And that compassion placed in our hearts can overflow uh, in loving acts to others. Let's, as we begin this day, remember that our God is a loving God, a compassionate God, a God who's with us and a God who loves us. A prayer to which you might like to say, Amen. 
O God of loving compassion, we thank you that you are with us and care for us each and every day in whatever we're going through. Fill our hearts afresh with the knowledge of your love and help us to act with true compassion to friend and stranger alike. For your sake and in your name we pray. Amen. Have a fantastic day. Uh, keep safe. Enjoy your learning and your playing. And um, I hopefully uh, see you uh, before too long. Thank you for listening and goodbye.